Consuela is known for only two things. Lemon pledge. No, no. <laughs> See? But is there more to this walking catchphrase? Is there any depth or evolution to her character outside of a crude stereotype? Well, that's what I'm about to find out today, as this is the complete timeline of Consuela from Family Guy. I was never here. Her first appearance. Unlike other Family Guy characters, Consuela doesn't have any flashbacks or backstories, so this video will focus more on a retrospective of her time on the show. So her first appearance was in season 6, which while researching was a lot later than I originally thought. In a cutaway gag, we see that she's the head of a maid union and demands lemon pledge. After this, we then see that she cleans for Superman, cleaning his Fortress of Solitude whilst refusing flies from Joe. She then pops up sporadically after this, mostly to perform her catchphrase. And her first proper spotlight episode was in Season 8's Doggone. In it, Lois hires Consuela for help around the house, but instead of making the Griffin's life easier, she becomes a burden, playing her music loud and even steals Stewie's Monopoly money. We'll give it back! Come get, bitch. When the Griffins finally get to the end of their rope, they try to fire her, which is easier said than done. No, I keep job. Left with no other option, Peter knocks her out and dumps her off at his neighbor Joe's. One of the funniest moments in this episode was when Consuela refused to go home because of the rain, and so she just had to sleep with Chris. No, no. But one thing I couldn't help but wonder about this scene is how they could possibly get any sleep with all that light in the room. What they need is a soft and comfortable sleep mask that blocks out any annoying light. And yes, that's my absolute seamless transition to this video sponsor, Manta Sleep. Manta Sleep are 100% blackout masks that give you a deeper sleep. They come with these super soft cups that fit comfortably over your eyes, and they're adjustable and breathable too. I've been wearing mine to bed every night since I got them, and they've really helped shut off the outside world, and I've had some very good full night's sleep with them. Manta Sleep have lots of options to choose from, and if you're not completely sure which one's right for you, then you can take this sleep personality quiz to help guide you. So to get yourself one and try a good night's sleep today, click the link in the description or use code TIMELINES for 10% off. And if you're not completely satisfied, then they have a 60 day no hassle refund. So give it a go by clicking the link in the description. Consuela's many jobs. Even though she may be a pain, she's a busy pain, own the title of perhaps the most successful maid in Quahog, and works for the richest guys in town, including Carter Pewterschmidt and actor James Woods, right until his murder. Outside of her regular job as a maid, she was also a traffic enforcer. And in between those gigs, she also finds time to be CEO for Yahoo. Which probably explains why Yahoo isn't doing so hot recently. Also in her spare time, she does some stand-up and has the perfect response for hecklers. No, no, no. She also managed to find time to lead her country to victory in curling at the Winter Olympics. And on top of all this, she's also the face of No, perfume for women. What an icon. Her family. We've seen a lot of Consuela's family throughout the show. She has a nephew who has a side hustle selling yo-yos, which is something Peter was really interested in, and she also has a son in jail, who she visits and never fails to clean his glass before she leaves. This is as well as having a niece called Isabella, who Chris took a real fancy to. But surprisingly this time, unlike Chris's failed attempts to grope her aunt, Isabella likes Chris back, but their romance doesn't last very long as she's deported, leaving her kids with Chris. 
So the Griffins take it upon themselves to track Isabella down and reunite her family, but they too find themselves stuck across the border. Luckily for the Griffins, they are saved by none other than Consuela, who informs them that they are already in Texas. And on the way home, she even treats them to a trip to Dollywood. Was I right or was I right? Yep, totally worth the extra two days. Even though she seems to be saving other families like the Griffins, hers still seems a bit fractured. We later learn that her husband lives right across the border, so every Valentine's Day she has to jump the fence in order to spend the day with him. She even lovingly cleans her hoo-ha with Lemon Pledge, which has to sting. So the family she does have is either separated by a border or jail, and I believe this has a real impact on her maternal nature. Therefore, she directs all of her motherly affections towards Stewie when she sees him all alone, taking the baby home with her. Interestingly, this is where we see her home for the very first time, and despite being a mean, lean cleaning machine of Quahog, she lives in pretty poor conditions. I guess Superman doesn't really pay that much. No, no. But when Brian comes looking for Stewie, she tells the pooch that she just hasn't seen him. But when Stewie does reveal himself, she snatches him up and states that he's hers. But Crafty Stewie shoots her in the foot and makes a break for it. One of my favourite recent moments with her was when she accompanied Quagmire to a play and she firmly insisted it wasn't a date. Okay, we're here as friends, but I'm gonna change your mind one day. Consuela's Evolution now, this was a difficult video to make because unlike other characters in the show, there isn't much change or growth with Consuela. She pretty much remains a constant. And unfortunately, there isn't any real depth. Instead, she's more of a device to fill in for another joke with yet again another one of her catchphrases. As well as this, she's pretty much a stereotype who is part of a collective of other zany characters that orbit the Griffin family. It's usually just the same joke over and over again with her, but that's Family Guy, and that's what they do. And yes, I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. You may have seen that I've got a bit of a Family Guy glow up. Big thank you to artist Matt Thornton for helping me out with this. The link to his Twitter page to see his latest works is in the description below. And so that completes the timeline of Consuela from Family Guy. And until the next one, I'll see you later.